Hello and welcome back once again to Jeff Finnegan's Wake, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake ostensibly one page at a time, one day at a time, put it up on YouTube. So I just did nine Infinite Jeffs and I'm doing four Jeff Finnegan's Wakes today. This is the first of four. And then I will be caught up, I hope, finally, and I can go back to my one a day schedule because it's much more manageable. Because when you're looking at two hours of this, you're like, man, I don't want to do that. I'd rather get high and play video games. So, But that's... Me, I'm undisciplined. Anyway, this is page 316. I'm just diving in, because fuck it. Uh, Pukelson, till told, that with some our proud advisors, how their ultravolience led them infro, infro raids, striking down and landing alow against our Aryan insulation resistance, two boards that beach asked one, witness Thane and Tisk. And Henry, perpetricularly all they summed, Kish met, bound to, and for landlord, noting, nodding, a coast to more was cause to mere. Besides proof plenty over proof, while they either took a heft, or the other swore his Eric, heaved to, spluist the membrace, heirs at you, Bruin Baron, with a whistle for me thanks. Good marums and good merry mills, said good mother's gossip, bobbing his bowing both ways with the bents and scaries, when they were all in the old wald of Kinkincarabog, and that they did overlive the hot air of Monty Buncombe upon the coal blast of Metropolotos, let their meads be the Horlehorn, Howlehorn, Hibernating after seven oak ages, fearsome where they were had he gone dump in the doomering this tide where the pakes pixies would pickle him down to the button of his seat and his cess old sauce errantly into the bulgrin with the help of Divi and Joram's loquor and shut at the door after him to make a rarely fine ran's cattle of fish. Moria Mortimer, Alapala over us, how oft had the ball she tried, and they laying low for his home gang in that eerie bleak mead, with fireball feast and turkey's tumult and pauper's patch to provide his bum end, the foe things your n-word head needs, and that's the n-word head, needs to be fitting for the big water. He had the sign of the hammer. God's drought, he said, after a few days, thinking of all those blackings, how life pauses. Here you are back on your Hawkins, from Blazel to the Brast to our Povotogius Portocol, the furt on the turn of the Hurdies, slave to trade, vassal of spices, and a drag in the market, and be turbot, lurch a stripe, as were you soused me thought out of the mackerel. Eldsfells, said he, a compavin on Iceland, here's open hand hand legs for one o for one old Faulkner from the hame folk here in yours use booth. So sell me Gundy, sagged the now waging Kepon, with a wary Posthumer's explicion shoots Ogos Schutzel him or where's the slob? A bit bite of key sins he sagged till Dennis for this jantar and let the doblins. I don't know how but this book's getting even harder to fucking read. Yeah, it's page three sixteen. Have a good night. <laughs>